friends and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I've posted anything. The last video I did was a few weeks ago and it was the trying to make macaroons video. I was on a roll and I was doing really good and posting every week, every Friday, and then I kind of hit a wall with YouTube. Part of it is definitely because of the current living situation that we're having over here. Part of it though too is just that I was looking at the content that I was posting on my YouTube and what I was doing on my YouTube and it just wasn't really what I wanted or what I thought my brand was or what I wanted it to be. And not that I really disliked, I guess, a lot of the videos, like they're fun and I enjoyed them, but my, I guess my style and the videos that I like to watch are more of the kind of vloggy conversational videos, not necessarily like, macaroon trying to make macaroons and failing or things like that like that's not really my preferred style I kind of took some time off from doing youtube just to kind of think what i actually wanted to post and i think i've got a better idea of the direction that i want to go in now unfortunately because i during the week i still work like a regular job as in like i do I work reception for a medical office here in town. And so there is a lot during the week that it makes it hard for me to do like a week in my life of vlog because I can't vlog at work because it's a medical office so that would be against the law. But also it's just not that interesting. So like kind of the weeks day to day are not very exciting. So I'll probably, like there might be a couple of those just like during the holidays when I'm out visiting people or doing things like that, that might be a thing that happens. I'm also gonna try and do like a day in my life every once in a while on the weekends when I've got stuff going on because that's the kind of videos that I like more. That's kind of the plan moving forward. Again, I like I said, we're also in a unique living situation right now because for those of you who don't know, I moved in with my mom and sister for the time being because the goal is to be able to move into the LA area so that I can do more of this stuff so that I can work more closely in fashion and do actual things in fashion and styling instead of just, you know, sitting in Oregon doing reception work in a medical office. That's the goal. And so I moved in with my mom and sister to really just save money to finance my move down to LA. The original plan, the reason this was like a thing is because my sister was gonna be moving out and that I was gonna just kind of take over her room but then due to COVID and just kind of the rental shortage that's happening everywhere in this country, we're unable to get her an apartment and a place to live. There's just not an option, especially one that's affordable and a safe place for her to be. So for the time being, the three of us are living in a two bedroom townhouse, which definitely makes things tricky. We finally finished kind of moving and organizing things this weekend for the most part, so that we can kind of get things better settled, I guess, is the best word, best way to just put it, is that we're trying to just get as settled as we can because this is kind of gonna be our living situation for a while. But kind of up until this week, like this past week, we weren't really sure what that was gonna look like. So it was also hard to have like filming space when so many things just felt kind of up in the air. Now that things have kind of mellowed, we know Avery's gonna be here, we know this is kind of our long-term situation, we can just kind of get organized and get situated with all of it. So, that's kind of all that little update, which brings me to the topic of this video, which is just gonna be a casual clothing haul, try on haul. It's gonna be a short video, but I think it'll be fun. I like videos like this a lot. I haven't really had the opportunity to ever make one because I was, well, had no money pretty much. And my new job, while I'm saving most of what I'm making, I have allowed myself to shop a little bit, especially since I've needed some clothes for the office because I work in an office job. I thought it would be fun to do a little haul. Um, all the clothes I'm going to be showing you today are Princess Polly and Revolve, like from Revolve. They're two companies that I shop from pretty often, so I thought it would be fun to do kind of a, a haul of things I've gotten recently, kind of show you how I style them and all that fun stuff. Before we get into the rest of the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share, you know the drill, do all the things, and let's get into the video. Everything, actually except for the two things I got from Revolve, of course, I got specifically because they fit with the dress code to wear to the office, 
which is good but they're all things that I really like and I will wear outside of work and once I no longer have this job anymore so I thought that was kind of perfect to kind of you know I'm spending money on clothes that I can wear to work but I'm spending money on pieces that I'll continue to wear so it's not wasteful it's just kind of a good it's well I mean it's a good excuse to go shopping for me but then there's also just a lot that I needed for an office job because most of my pants for example were just denim and we can only wear like blue jeans to work on Friday I can like wear black jeans without any holes in them during the week or like a colored denim without holes during the week but that's kind of it so I needed some of that I needed a couple more like longer skirts you know things like that so I guess first we'll start with what I am already wearing which is this boys lie crew neck um I'll show the back of it in a second but boys lie is one of my favorite companies they're very much like a streetwear style brand but it's geared more towards women which isn't always the case which so i love that so much and i have another hoodie from them um i'll link that blog post down below in case you're curious and then i also have a t-shirt from them that's coming from Revolve soon, but it was pre-order, so I'm not sure exactly when it's getting here. Love Boys Lie, everything is one size and it's purposefully oversized, as you can see, and that's the whole point. So the only things from them that aren't one size fits all and aren't purposefully oversized are their like sweatpants or sweat shorts. Uh, it's a little harder to make bottoms one size fits all, I think, so it's best to just kind of do it that way. But all the sweatshirts, hoodies, and t-shirts are baggy on purpose one size fits all but like meant to be oversized which i love that's how i prefer to wear a hoodie anyway or like any kind of crew neck oversized is best for sure next i've got this dress this is also from revolve and this dress here is mink pink but it's from revolve as well it's got this like super cute kind of wrench detailing on the side the front and then this side as well um so I didn't buy this specifically for work, but it falls within all the like dress code rules I need to wear at work. So it's perfect for that. I also just posted a blog post styling this guy that I'll link down below so you can see that as well. But it's super cute. It's really soft. I'm not sure if you can tell in the lighting, but it's a very soft green color. It's really cute. It's very form flattering. Again, super soft, really good quality. And this, this dress is definitely gonna be more of a spring summer dress, so I'm kind of running out of time to wear it uh, for right now. But it's just, it's so cute and it's so comfy. It's perfect for like warm summer months, which I absolutely love. Because you know, sometimes just during summer, you don't wanna put on an entire ensemble together. And that is when a good sundress really just comes in handy. So absolutely love this one. So next up, I've got this white bodysuit. We're kind of we're in the Princess Polly portion of the video now. Um, so here's this white bodysuit from them. I absolutely love this thing. It's so cute. And I got it because I just loved it, but I can also wear it to work. And I will show you how I do that, uh, wear it to work. But it's got these super cute tie detailings on the shoulder, so it makes it very adjustable to however you need it. And also, my favorite part, I hate wearing bras in general. So this is great because it is not padded, but it's got two layers in the boob. So you don't have to wear a bra if you have no boobs like I do. So you, it's reinforced, which is nice. So it's not super see-through and it's so cute. You can see it here styled with the gingham pants that I'm gonna show you a little more up close in a second but it's just, it's so cute. It's such good quality. It's got the snap closure, of course, and it's just so versatile. I've worn this thing with jeans. I've worn it with the like gingham pants to work. I've worn it with this other skirt that I'll show you. It's just, it's so nice. I absolutely love it. Next up from Princess Polly, we have these cute little gingham like trousers. They're kind of like a pixie pant style um they they hit just above or like just yeah just above the ankle kind of mid-calf they're so cute and high-waisted which i also love they have a zippered back which is very nice 
they are so comfy and so easy to style i absolutely love these i wear them to work all the time and when i go to work i have to wear closed toed shoes so i style it like i've worn this with sweater and like these little this kind of orangish like burnt orange sweater that i have from one mile um wear that with like some nude flats um in the winter i feel like i could style these with my docks like either of my like my red ones or my just regular black ones and they would be super cute i also have this heeled like little black heeled booty that i wear with these a lot to work but not not at work i feel like these would be really cute with like if you're going out a little kitten strappy black heel or even just like for something more casual my doc sandals i think would be really cute so these will be perfect even once i no longer work at this job last but not least i've got this copper colored skirt from princess polly um it's so cute i love this skirt so much i've worn it so many times already it's so soft it's this gorgeous material it's got slits up both sides which I love, it's really easy to move in, which is very nice. And it's got the invisible zipper on the side, which we love. And it's just so, so like soft and comfortable. I just love it so much. So, so versatile. Again, it's perfect for dressing up a little bit. If you add like even this bodysuit that I'm wearing with it, with a little heel, or you could even add in a boot again for the winter kind of dress it up or dress it down depending on what you put it with at work it's great because it's comfortable enough to be in all day going out like I was in Palm Springs recently with my boyfriend and his family and I wore this to a nicer dinner out with this white bodysuit and it was nice it added a little you know I was able to dress it up a little bit but it's still comfortable so I think too adding for the winter some tights and boots with a I have this white sweater that's kind of open backed that I think would be really cute with it so yes very happy with this purchase and that's all I told you guys it was going to be kind of a shorter video but I just figured I wanted to get back into it I wanted to do a little clothing haul because I think they're so much fun to watch. So I wanted to make one. And of course I actually just ordered a couple more things from Revolve. So this probably could have been a more balanced haul. But again, I don't know when they're gonna be here. They just shipped, it's just two tops. So I'll just have to shoot those blog post style and put those up once they get here. I've got some fun Halloween stuff coming up because if you guys know me in real life or just at all i absolutely love halloween and cannot wait to start doing some fun stuff so next week's video is going to be a little bit more spooky a little more halloween centered and then my birthday is coming up and that'll be fun so i've got some i've got some fun stuff working in the pipelines for everyone i also finally gave in and created a tiktok so I've added that to like my links that I will put down below, but it's Mermaid Maddie, just like everything else. So go ahead and look me up on TikTok and come over there and hang out with me on TikTok. I'm still learning it. I'm not very good at it, but it's fun. So, you know, I feel like that's the first step to any of this. Sorry if this video quality is a little funky. My camera was dead and I also needed the ring light and I can't have the ring light and the camera on the tripod at the same time. Uh, it's a very budget production over here, but um, I am looking for a solution for that so that I can have like my camera tripod and then this tripod that has the ring light on it. So, you know, bear with me. We're still a work in progress over here. But thank you so much for joining me today. Again, if you want to be updated whenever I post, go ahead and click the little notification bell. And yeah, that's it, I think. So everything is linked down below and my sizes that I'm wearing. So if you see anything you like, go take a peek. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.